Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today I wanted to talk about five things that will help you get motivated to practice. I talk to guys all the time. Every week somebody is apologizing because they did not get to practice between lessons. Well, I wanted to give you guys five ways to help you motivate yourself to practice. I actually just had a conversation with my cousin the other day and he was telling me, Brian, I just can't practice. I put the balls out, I'm ready to shoot them, but I wanna play somebody. I just can't motivate myself to practice. Well, I hope these tips help you. Number one, make practice as convenient as possible. If you have a table, don't put the cover on the table. Put the cues out. Leave your cue attached and just put it in the rack, nice and neat. Uh, where you can get to it. If you have to put the cue together, you got to take it out of the bag, you got to take the cover off the table. When you have to do all of those things, it becomes a chore just to get to the point where you get to practice. So number one, make it convenient to practice. Also, this is kind of 1A, make it inconvenient to do the things that are keeping you from practicing. Put the TV remote on the pool table and <laughs> You have to go to the table to get the remote. Now, if you are a guy that needs to go to a pool hall or somewhere else in order to get in your practice time, once again, whatever you can do to make it convenient, that's what you should do. Guys tell me they practice during their lunch hour. Have lunch near wherever the pool, the pool hall is or if it's a bar or a restaurant that has a pool table. Have lunch there if you're going out to lunch. Make it as convenient as possible. Number two, one of the things I don't like very much when it comes to training is having a partner in your training session because that often leads to playing and it also puts you on the table 50% of the time. Now playing and practicing are two totally different things. And if you get together with a partner and you end up playing, oh, let's play eight ball, which always happens. The reason a lot of people are better than you is because they practice. And the reason you're better than a lot of people is because you practice. So let's talk about the partner thing. Number one, if the guy that you're playing with is under you in skill level, it does not help you to train with that person. You're going to pick up some bad habits. They're going to get a little bit better but you're gonna pick up some bad habits. You're not gonna get any positive things as far as uh, advice and things like that. But if you have the right training partner, it can keep you motivated. Why? Because, hey, you set a time. Every Thursday night at six o'clock, we are going to practice for two hours, you and me. And you set it up so that you're embarrassed to miss the practice session. Hey, you guys are supposed to do it. You're gonna to get together and you're gonna do it, but be very careful and make sure you keep it as a practice session. And again, be very careful who you're practicing with. Number three, the reason a lot of people don't like to practice is because you're competitive. You want to play, you want to beat somebody, you wanna be challenged. I measure my practice sessions. If I'm practicing nine ball, I count. How many times do I beat the ghost in a race to 10? If I'm shooting the acid test, how many times can I run the acid test before I miss it? How many times do I run the, um, the semicircle before I miss it? I keep records about these things and I don't do it just because it allows me to see my improvement, which is one thing, but it puts me against myself. Hey, I, I beat the ghost last time in a race to five. I beat the ghost last time in a race to 10. I need to do it again, but I gotta do it in fewer games. Whatever the situation is, put yourself up against your best and try to beat that. So that's number three. Number four, set goals and either put it on display or tell somebody about it. I like to bring other people into it because we'll lie to ourselves. We'll say, oh yeah, well, that's my goal, but I'll, I'm gonna get to it. Tell somebody, tell your wife, I'm gonna be uh, APA seven by the end of the year, or I'm gonna be the best person on my team, or display it where everybody, including yourself, 
can see it. This is my goal to beat the ghost by 2022 or whatever it is. You need to put your goals in front of you and make yourself accountable. And a lot of us are motivated by different things. A lot of us have more maturity and more stamina and more commitment than some other people might. If you see these flaws in yourself, hey, I know I'm going to, you know, I'd rather watch the football game than to practice for even 15 minutes. Then you need to realize it. Understand, this is who I am. I need to do things to keep myself from doing this. So you need to be your own personal trainer very often in pool. You guys that take lessons from me, you know I don't hammer you about practicing. I'm not on you every week. Oh, you got to practice this. You got to practice that. I tell you, this is what you should practice because you are grown men and women and you need to get yourself on board. Now, number five, and this one is important, guys. Allow yourself to have short practice sessions. If you have to play somewhere else and you know, I can only get on that table for 15 minutes before my team shows up. I can only get to that pool hall for a half an hour. Or if you're playing at home, I have a busy life. I don't have two, three hours to practice every day, Brian. If you put in 15 minutes, you guys have heard me say this before. If you put in 15 minutes, three times a week, you already put in 45 minutes more than the average APA player. They are not practicing. Most amateur players do not put in a minute of practice they are playing games with their friends. Keep in mind, if you just put in 15 minutes three times a week, that's enough to improve over most players. Get your drills in, run balls in rotation, give yourself some kind of resistance. Don't waste your time on trick shots and bullshit that is not going to make you a better pool player. Put in your time, even if it's just a couple minutes, and you are putting in a lot more time than a lot of people. That's all I have for you today, guys. If you're interested in lessons, hit me at fxbilliards.com with any questions that you have. And I look forward to talking to any of you about anything you need to talk about. Have a great day. Give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribing to this channel, shame on you. We got 80,000 viewers and 30,000 subscribers. You do the math. Have a great day and we will talk to you later.